Yo, we are here to talk about items and shops in Zen and Zone Zero that I discovered so far. If you notice, I am level 28 right now in this equalizing test. And why don't we start with the easy stuff, which is the top right. We have battery charge, which is technically the stamina in this game. You get one every six minutes and a maximum of 180. Next, we have the gold in this game or Zenny's or in this case, Denny's, not to be confused with the restaurant that sells pancakes. But this is like the primary currency to use to do a lot of things. Then we have the premium currency, which is film, which is like the primo gems in Genshin. Okay. And uh, you can use pretty much use what 160 a summon here. But yeah, this is this is the, the primary currency used for like refreshments and stuff as well. Next, why don't we jump into the storage? We're going to start off with the W engine storage, which is technically your main weapons uh, for agents or AKA characters. And just like character, they range from S rank to B rank. There's no C, D, or E, or F. And some of them are actually specifically tailored for specific characters. Like this one, specifically for Vaughn, it even kind of says so in here. His last name. Uh, and I think this one is for Ben. It even has the name Ben there. Um, unfortunately, when you like get a selector for some of these, if you do get a selector, like for, for the S rank, I have no idea where else to get them. The only way to get this one was, um, I believe I got a selector for it. And I, you get to choose, right? At level 25, you get to choose one of these. Level 20, you get a selector for a character. But who knows? It could just be for beta anyways. It could not be in the base game. <laughs> but yeah, besides that, um, I have no idea. So if you guys do know where to get them, let me know. Um, other than that, if you want to actually get the like more of the generic ones, um, they actually have a shop. You go here to travel. You can go to Box Galaxy. Um, otherwise, you have to get them from the Gacha. The Gacha only goes up to A rank, so they don't have S rank. So that's why I'm asking. But there is a quest here with NPC uh, called Suzy, and then you finish that quest as you progress through the story. You meet Suzy. Uh, it's one of the side quests, so you kind of have to like kind of look around for these blue exclamation marks and then once you finish that you unlock this gadget store and here you can see the generic stuff that uses the puzzles right so you pretty much get these puzzles from like quests and stuff and uh, i i some of them i have to do with other items too but we can get to that later um if you don't want the pacific w engine you can actually get rid of them and give you exp chips you upgrade your other w engine that you're using so that's pretty much that then let's jump to the next one in the storage tab. We have this disk drive storage. This is pretty much like artifacts in Genshin uh, or like runes in Summoner Wars. It's pretty much uh, the gear in this game. So they have base stats depending on the slot. Um, specific slots have specific base stats, like a set of them. Like some of them all with HP, some of them, this could be like defense or attack and whatnot. And obviously you have some random stats like in Genshin. They have set bonuses too, so depending on what you want, they two piece and then a four piece. You can equip about six of them on one aging at a time, right? You can equip up to six. These are you click here, you can put them on in the middle. It's the main weapon slot. So that's that, and then we can go to the next one. Ooh, this is a lot materials. Okay, okay. So the first few here, this is like the bronze version and then just like the blue ones, uh, blue versions of these. So these are used for ascending, increasing the agent's level cap. So if you actually go to characters, Ready for combat. Uh, let's just go to the one that I actually use. I'm at your disposal. If you click this arrow button, you can notice there's these ascension stuff and to obtain them, you can actually craft them. Right, it requires the smaller ones, or obviously, if you don't have any, then you can go to the VR training. Right, we teleport there, Oops. which is technically in the video store. You pretty much go around here, and then the VR training is right here. It's kind of pricey though, uh, not gonna lie. It takes like 20 just for one, and then if you put more in here, then it's up to 80. It's pretty expensive, but you get more of these as you unlock the do the game and do missions. So you can worry about you don't need to worry about too much. Just do it when you actually need them. Same thing goes with. Let's see. Let's go back in the storage. Actually, same thing goes with uh, 
the, the ones down here which is way for w engine level cap like that's one thing you can also get uh vr get these to uncap these in the vr training and i believe the bugaboo ones you mostly only get these from like dailies or pacific quest or i actually got this one from one of the items that i'll mention later so that's that and you may be wondering what are these these are you can upgrade your skills if you didn't know if you go to your ancient go to skills you can actually click on these and you can upgrade them they require uh ancient level as well as like specific pricing right there's like 15. in order to get this you have to go to you can craft them from the like smaller one or you can go to the 141 store and you want to see from the travel screen right here it's the one with the three rabbits they do reset daily so you probably want to come in and just check it out of course it takes quite a bit right you can start buying them you don't have a confirm button i mean buy all button <laughs> These are the one I need, right? You buy this. And I do I using kind of Ben, Vaughn, and Sukaku. So just ice and fire, so those will use I get them anyways, and I get all of them in case I do get other characters. But that's that. And then let's continue the storage. We have EXP stuff. Okay, the EXP stuff. Oh shoot, I forgot to talk about this. <laughs> so you can ask do in order to get these this drive storages. You, you can go to the Bartik Needle, which is the music shop across the street. You go in here and you can pretty much you can set which one you wanna kinda of want first. And um, you can give it the rate up and then it's pretty much a gotcha in here too. You can level up these to get better drop rates as you go up, right? It kind of depends on your internet level. And you can dismantle the ones that you don't use, like the lower ones. And it gives you more EXP uh, items that you can use to upgrade these drivers. My, currently my drivers are level zero and it's fine. You don't really need to care too much about it till like later in the game. Uh, but yeah, if you really need some, you can gotcha these. There's no dungeon to do these. Uh, you just... Well, there is a dungeon. There's just one called Rally Commission. And uh, I, can, I guess I can show you. We can go back to the store here while I talk. <laughs> so the Rally Commission actually costs like 50 stamina, which is kind of... Yikes, in my opinions. They need to lower it. But for this equalizing test, it costs... as. <laughs> As you're going through the game, you unlock these rally missions, commissions. There's one here, chapter two, and then there's one in chapter one. Right? So you can get most of these if you click here. You can see you get the EXP. You also get some EXP. First time you do get some film, so just be aware of that. <laughs> okay, let's jump back into... And then, yeah, so these are the EXP stuff. There's the Bang Boos, which is... Why don't I go to the shop, actually? You may notice when you're doing pulls and stuff like that. Actually, no, let's, let's, let me go to this. Let's, let's, let's just go to one of these and show you. So in here, you actually can pick a pet, right? You can pick a pet. And these you can get from the gacha. Mostly, I got this from a selector. Um, I believe it's also in level 25 or something like that. And these actually have passives on them. Oh, this is active. Active ability, which is A. And then we have two passives. Right, so it kind of depends. You can upgrade these. Um, you can level them up. By going to... With using the EXP stuff that I showed you in there. But you can also go to... I believe it's Turbo. Yeah, right here with next which is technically next to the video store <laughs> you, need anything modded, you come here you, you can like upgrade them using the exp stuff oh god i have i have some to do and then if obviously if you have dupes then you can increase their the stats and stuff and also if you have your 
I won't worry about losing that much a fighter, but in regards to sweet, I think this is like the passive thing that you can do. You can get these chips and stuff um, just by doing quests and whatnot. They, actually, I got, you can get these from, um, I'll, I'll explain this shop later. You also get some of these uh, by doing stuff around the, the sixth street, uh, especially with the sage and the barrel. That's what I was going to talk about. And I should probably put one of these in here. You kind of have to like hold and drag. Okay, I have to take him out first before doing it. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably do this some other time. You can also chip exchange. You get these increasing level cap. You can trade them for, for one of these. If you have enough of these EXP things. <laughs> Ascension things, my bad. Ascension, you can trade them up. All right, so yeah, this, I believe this is like the passive that affects your whole team pretty much. These are just like straight up just team passives. So this is technically you in, in a way. <laughs> and those those ones that actually come into the battle and do stuff for you. All right. I think that covers most of the math stuff. These are all just EXP. We got Bamboo EXP. We got W Engine EXP. We got Character EXP. This is uh, increased level cap. Ascension. These are also these are ascensions. And then this is the driver exp. So let's go to key items. We have here the summon. This is the standard summon one. This is the limited summer summon one. And this is the one to create W engine chips. You can obtain them by dismantling and um, there's other things where you use these for. Okay. Um, this one is what you get from doing dailies, right? This guy actually appears in front of you. Right there, right? This is the video store. You go here after you, I believe, complete chapter one. All right, these are just dailies to give you films and then uh, weeklies, association matters, right? So these are like the daily stuff. And then you can trade those in for let's say bamboo level cap i feel like this is like the only other place besides those other stores that i've seen um not stores but npcs that you you will see later uh but yeah so this one is for agent upgrade their advanced skills i think this is kind of like getting the last cap you might need these so i don't know if these energy ones exp ones are worth it but i will say get these two first in my opinion Anyways, so um, let's go to the next one I have here is the these the coins, which is the sage in the barrel, right? Which is all the way down here. I don't know. Is there is there a teleport for this? You do. I think in the beginning you get to meet this one, and you can gather information. It'll tell you kind of where to get some of these coins. But if you go to the eco exchange or if you want to trade, I wish they would change this cutscene. Like I kicked this so many times. They should just start off kicking it. All right. So if you go to this shop here in a way, uh, if you do want to get rid of some of these materials that you don't want, you can actually sell them for rarities. So you, you get an item of average rarity um, I did this once. I just got Denny's, so I don't think it's worth it. To be honest, you just hold off to it. This is the one where it has higher value. So I'm gonna just gonna do this right now to see what we get. We got a basic training card. Open to obtain a basic energy card. Interesting. This one of the new items I've never seen. Oh, okay. So this is for VR training. So you can unlock more VR training stuff with this. And you can also get um, some of the, the EO stuff as well. We got we got another card okay this one gives you money this thing they, they unlock them whoa what's this this is new to me a film case containing dark fairy tale videotape oh okay so this these are for your video store like um I'll, I'll talk about that later i'll probably talk about that last i did get some of the eos chips back when <laughs> But actually, why why don't we have why don't we go to the case? Go to the store here. Uh, 
random place. Of course, you can just teleport there too, but. So here, right, you can actually set up. Set up to just pretty much get money. Randomly, promoters will come in, like NPC will just stand in front of you, talk to them, you give them recommendations, they want to kind of help you promote. Um, you can read kind of their status and stuff here. Target traffic. I'm still learning this stuff, but um, I usually pick Heidi because I like her. Actually, yeah, it depends on their uh, preferences. <laughs> happy, happy, like retro. All right, we can confirm with this. Back to life, the dark fairy. This is the one we just unlocked, right? So these give level three, which is very nice. Pick out the matching videotapes. We have tragic suspense and retro. So depending on which one you kind of pick, kind of dictates. Suspense level two. Give you like the bonus, I believe. Retro. Which one's retro again? We got level one here. I think that's the only one I kind of have. You have to unlock more of these. <laughs> so we got 584 an hour. If I change this to like, let's just say this, it's less, right? So you wanna, even though the level is higher, you kind of want to match the ones down here. You get more money. You get it per hour. I think every day uh, you can set up a new one. So this is how you easily get money. So I wanted more about too much of the Zen Denny's. So, it, well, maybe, maybe a little bit. Because if you start buying the whole shop in one four 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 one, then yeah, it get, it gets to be like that. All right. So that's one place to get them. Obviously, obviously, you can also get more of these. Uh, what's the word? Cases and stuff too, from this one place here. Actually, before we go there, obviously, you guys will know about this scratch card thing, right? You go, there's a shop here for the dog and give you some random item depending on what you scratched. I got trash. <laughs> oh, man, I got stopped by Nicole. <laughs> I'm doing a video here, Nicole. All right. So a as you advance through the story, eventually, do you go? Uh, Go and meet this side quest in this corner over here. You kind of see an exclamation mark. Right? And then there's an NPC here called Stant. Eventually. And then if you talk to him. Hopefully he doesn't give me a quest because I need to show the shop. With the spray paint. So here's the spray paint, right? If you notice, you can get a fairy uh, film case here. Glor Actually, not fairy. Uh, you can get a film case here, a golden one. Glory is... You can submit. So that's what these spray cans are for. You get spray cans from quests. A lot of them are reward for quests and stuff like that. Um, you, you also get ether battery, which is technically uh, like pots for stamina. But yeah, that's that guy. There also is another one. If you go to my storage, there's another one here, which is the machinery parts. As you, I think, beat chapter two, you get access to this one. There's a second area, not just 6th Street. And Mika is right here, or Mishka. And you can turn these in, you can get the ether batteries and stuff like that. So it's a nice way to just get some nice extra loot. Right, we got a film case. Some EXP. It's another nice progression thing. And then you can also get the bang boo stuff, the uncap. But yeah, those those far that so far all the item that I know of. Um we also have some other shops. We can go over the food items. I mean, they kind of force you to get coffee and get some buffs and stuff. So this is what I have currently. Uh, if I can just talk to him. Huh. 
Maybe I'm stuck. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> oh, it's because I did it third day. God, okay. But you can go here. You get like some uh, food items, buffs, and um, some bonuses for your like next five battles or something. Coffee shop is where you can like refresh your stamina and stuff. So we have um, all of them actually give 60. So as you progress, you can unlock more coffees. And then depending on what you kind of want, like whatever you're going to run, you might as well just get it, right? I have full stamina right now. I'm probably going to use it later on stream. So that's that. Am I missing any other shops? At least in here. Coffee shop, turbo, godfinger, stand. Oh, um, no, I went over that. Okay. That's mostly all that I know of so far. And there's also the 24 hour shop. Uh, these are monthlies you can get, like getting this bamboo, which is the monthly thing. So I guess there's another place here to get it. And you also get pulls. Um, I think these kind of rotate the characters. And then obviously you get EXP. I don't know. EXP money. I don't know. It's worth it. <laughs> this is the gener gener generic ones, 160 per pull. And hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I know um, I apologize that it's kind of all over the place. I kind of did this on the one take. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Later days.